Welcome to another edition of the SSC TV3 News. We are more than the news. We also televise programs, events, and archives that are the lifeblood of our community. Today is Friday, February the 8th, 2019. And I'm Jim Lakey, your host, and these are the features that will be on our show today. <clears throat> First, remember Pee Wee basketball. And second, remember Hearthstone Hearts. Normally, we televise this program live at 11 a.m. on Tuesdays and Fridays and upload it to YouTube right after the show. However, for the next few weeks, we will be telecasting the live Friday show at noon and the live Tuesday show at 9.15 in the morning as we synchronize our schedule with the class schedule of our two video journalist students. Also, since we have been missing events that have been in conflict with our regular news time, and since we only have one field reporter, the news time will now be moved from time to time so that we can get to the events that are in conflict. If you can't watch us live, you can still watch the show at your convenience at ssctv3.org. Please share our news features and programming on your social media. This will help us grow and enable us to serve you better. We also welcome press releases. Just bring them in by the studio or send them to ssctv3 at gmail.com. If you have pictures or videos that are too large to attach to our email, bring them by the studio from 9 a.m. until noon on a flash drive so that we can transfer them to our video editor. <clears throat> if you would like to be a sponsor of our newscast, come by the studio and we will set you up. Your advertisement will run on both the TV3 News and the TV Bulletin Board. Here now is a list of some of our sponsors. Well, the weather coming up has got to get better than what we're having. So Saturday, it'll be windy with a high of 40 and a low of 29. Then Sunday, partly cloudy, 42, with a low of 26. And then Monday, we'll either have rain or snow or both of them at the same time. Uh, 46 the high on Monday and 24 the low. Tuesday, partly cloudy, 44 the high, 22 the low. Wednesday, partly cloudy, 46 the high, 32 the low. Thursday, partly cloudy, 43 the high, and 25 the low. And finally, on Friday, it will be sunny, 45 the high, and 25 again the low. <clears throat> the lunches at the fellowship meals for the next week will be this. On Monday, chili with onions. On Tuesday, baked ham and sweet potatoes. On Wednesday, Salisbury steak, hash brown, casserole. And then uh, on Thursday, herbed pork loin and au gratin potatoes. 
And finally on Friday, sloppy joe with baked beans. <clears throat> the birthdays for next week are as follows. Uh, Wednesday, happy birthday to Melinda Davis and Christy Snyder. On Friday, happy anniversary for Carl and Nikki Bear. And on Saturday, happy birthday to Charles Smith. What was happening on a typical February Saturday morning in St. John 30 years ago? Well, watch carefully. You might just recognize someone or maybe even see yourself in a long forgotten reality. Well, Well, now we're at <coughs> school announcements. The Tiger Tots Story Time meets on the first and third Thursday of each month at 10.15 a.m. in the library. This activity is for infants and toddlers up through three years of age and their parents. Come have some fun and enjoy stories, nursery rhymes, finger plays, songs, crafts, free play, and snacks. The St. John Hudson PTO is now selling snack sticks <clears throat> from Yoda Meats. They are a dollar a stick or $24 for a box. They will be on sale at the PTO table at home games and between games by contacting Alyssa at the district elementary office or Cassie at the St. John National Bank of Kansas. The PTO Carnival, which is held every other year, will be Saturday, April 27th. The SAFE, or seat belts are for everyone, students and local officers are watching. If you're not buckled up, you could get a red ticket. <coughs> The School Community Service Day will be Wednesday, April 24th. This is not a city function, but the city office will help you get signed up. 
Now we have a public service announcement. Well, here we are with the public service announcements. The St. John Hudson Recreation Commission is having a Valentine party at Sunflower Senior Center Thursday, February 14th. A drink and dessert is provided, and for a reservation, they would like you to call 549-6549. This year's new flu vaccinations are now available at the Stafford County Health Department. The Ida Long Goodman Library is in search of a book called On Wings of Faith by Lois English. It needs two or more copies. Lois English was a local author and the book was written in 1956. The library also has Book Lovers Valentines. They include a set of gent gently used books and a candy bar and a card. The Friends of the Library has new cards available. They are $2.50 each or five for $10. Stop at the front counter to take a look. The Hudson Community Council is planning its third annual flower festival. This will be a full day Saturday, March 23rd. We will list the activities and times as soon as we receive note of them. On Thursday, February 14th at 1.30 p.m., the seniors will have their St. John Hudson Recreation Commission Valentine's Party at the Witt Center. The drinks, the desserts, and the program will be provided. Please make a call to make your reservation. The numbers are 620-549-6549 or 620-377-6549. 7073. <clears throat> the St. John Jubilee will be May 24th and May 25th. Outdoor vendor spaces are being reserved now. Check with the city office for an application. Also, by going to Facebook on Around the Square page, you can have your email address and leave it at the, that location. Get more information and get an application. Jubilee sponsor packets have now been sent out. If you did not get one, you can still donate. This is not just for business. Any amount of helps are for the Jubilee to continue. If you cannot make a monetary donation and you can still want to help, contact the city office. The gals can answer all of your questions. The RSVP Retired and Senior Volunteer Program from Pratt will be in the library on Thursday, February 14th, providing free tax preparation for those filing a simple uh, low itemized return with a low income of under $50,000. Appointment times are 30 minutes in length and may be reserved by calling the library at 620-549-3227. The first session is at 9 a.m. and the last session is at 5 p.m. <clears throat> the skating rink hours are Fridays and Saturdays from 7 to 9. 
If you need to rent skates, the admission is $2. If you have your own skates, the admission is a dollar and a half. The after-school skate will be tw Tuesdays from 3.30 to 5. The admission for that time is just $1. The city is compiling a more accurate list of landlords. There are a number of people looking for rentals. Please contact the city if you would like to be on the landlord list. Also, please contact the city if you currently have properties available. The Big Bend Groundwater Management District number five will hold a public hearing Thursday, February 21st at the Stafford County Annex. At 5 p.m. concerning the district's revised management plan, the annual meeting will be at 7 p.m. This meeting will have an update on the latest LEMA proposal. TV3 will be recording and televising these proceedings live. <clears throat> the City of St. John is receiving applications for the position of public utilities maintenance worker. This position will be under the supervision of the public utilities supervisor and overseen by the city superintendent. For a copy of the job description and or an application, call the city of St. John office during business hours, 620-549-3208 or visit stjohnkansas.com. The city of St. John is an equal opportunity employer. Until further notice, the trash dumpster south of the power plant will be unavailable. Please use the county dump east of town. It's open from 11 a.m. to 3 on Monday through Friday. <coughs> Once upon a time when Phil England was administrator of the many activities of our local nursing home, we're open and inviting to local television. Times have changed. The name is no longer Hearthstone, and we are no longer welcome. The following timely video is one that we managed to survive from the old days. February 14th was, of course, Valentine's Day, and the residents of Hearthstone went all out with a combination February birthdays and Valentine's party. The high point of the afternoon was the crowning of the King and Queen of Hearts. We have the selections for the King and Queen of 1986. That's the King and Queen of Hearts, Hearthstone. That's quite an honor because it represents a selection by not only you folks who live here, but the folks that work here as well. So I guess it could be called a popularity contest, but really it's it's someone that everyone cares a lot about and I don't even know whose name is in here so I'm, I'm talking about somebody I don't really know who it is yet but it does represent the vote of the majority so we're going to find out who the king and queen of hearts for Hearthstone of 1986 is everybody <laughs> We'll introduce the king first, all right? King of Hearts, 1986, is King Ed Button. 
Please help our channel to better serve you with quality and informative programs. We have a lot of good stuff happening in our area, and our goal is to bring these activities to those who cannot attend. If you have items that need to be announced on TV3, or you have an event that would benefit from video coverage, we would like to hear from you. Send us your items or video requests to ssctv3 at gmail.com. Give us a little lead time and we will be there. Also, since we have only one field reporter, our live newscast will be rescheduled from time to time <clears throat> when in conflict with a news program event. If you would like to help us out as a field reporter, Please come by and visit with David about the job requirements. Since this is a volunteer-run television station, there will be no pay, but the service to our community would be priceless. As of the 15th next week, the new TV3 will have been on cable and YouTube for one year. During that time, we have added over 300 uploads of your YouTube channel which have included news programs, features, archives, and government meetings. At this time, we have 273 subscribers. The large media outlets give us a token coverage, but we are here 24-7. Keep us informed, and we will keep you informed. And thank you for watching.